Jones from the Virginia Maryland Suicide Prevention Coordinator. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming in. Yes, thank you for having me. So this week um, it's really highlighted such a terrible situation with yes. people uh, suffering from depression in many cases and choosing you know sort of the ultimate way out. What are you seeing? Well, what we know um, about suicide is that when we hear about um, celebrity cases or high profile suicides, it, it really increases the risk for those that are thinking about suicide because it's kind of it gives motivation to their thoughts to move towards action. And so we really think it's a, a great opportunity to really have the conversation to talk with people about what resources are available, what um, facts, uh, risk factors and warning signs they should be aware of to protect their loved ones. All right, what are some of the risk factors that families should be on the watch out for? Well, anyone that is talking about dying, uh, someone that may be suffering from a mental illness or substance abuse issue, and it's untreated, or uh, maybe they're in a relapse um, phase, mm -hmm. that would be a dangerous time. Someone who may feel that they're a burden to their family is another risk factor. Mm -hmm. Someone that may be isolating. Um, so if you notice something different with your family member, you want to you know, reach out. Uh, one of the things I always say is, no, uh, don't, don't be afraid to ask the question. Right. Don't be afraid to say, are you thinking about suicide? Um, because what we found is that that's not, the, there's a myth that says if you ask that question, you're giving someone that idea. That idea, mm -hmm. and the, the actually the opposite is true. You're saying that if suicide is something that they're thinking about, let's talk about it. I care about you, and we don't want that to happen. Is it kind of a relief for someone who is thinking about it to be able to vocalize it then to someone who's asked the question? Yeah. It, what I've heard from the veterans that I've worked with is that it, it, it's a relief because they've been carrying this secret about their thoughts and wanting to die for a while. And when someone says, hey, I noticed this, and what can I do to help? it really does open up an opportunity for help. These were two specific cases this week of adults, but you've seen an alarming trend in children as well. And you said in Baltimore City, there's already been a 10-year-old who committed suicide. Yeah, earlier this year, there was a 10-year-old, um, I think it was a little girl who died by suicide after bullying. Um, and so what, what I tell people is that suicide doesn't discriminate. Um, in the VA, we've had veterans as young as 18 mm -hmm. who are recently enrolled in the military to veterans who are in their 90s and served during the Korean and World War II wars. So it's a it, it doesn't discriminate uh, with regards to race, age, um, class. All of these factors really don't make a difference. And so we want people widely to know the risk factors, warning signs, and resources. And to let people know things can get better. They can. All right, thank you so very much for coming in. Really important information. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And if you know someone who needs assistance, you can call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline for help. Call 1-800-273-TALK. In Maryland, you can also call the 211 Helpline. For more on these resources, you can also go to our WBAL-TV mobile app. And stay with us. <laughs>